what are the differences between the Premiership and let's go with France now yeah. and then we'll maybe talk about Italy yeah. um, as a coach? Um, in terms of? In terms of access to players, yeah. in terms of how you manage the emotion of players, the the relationship with the French Rugby Federation yeah. compared to you know being head coach and you've got the RFU and, and the money and the amount of games and yeah. just the general relationship. Because I imagine in France, it, again, this is stereotypical, typical thing to say emotion led or is there a structure there a bit, a bit of both really there's definitely that latin temperament that um you know you can get passion um you know and you get almost too much passion at times and it's it's reactionary but they are you know there, there's a lot of things i always used to think when i watched french rugby play where suddenly someone just starts picking a go in the middle of the field but actually when i got to, to start it's actually a part of the plan they are three or four different attack shapes and they'll call it in that pick and go type of play or attack on either side of the rock is that part of their attack. So they do have a lot more structure than maybe you think. Um, I think what you also see in the league is there's more diversity of playing style. And what I like about the French league compared to the premiership at the moment is relegation. I think I think the feeling of pressure, um, that the cost of the game could go either for you or against you is so big that you can feel it on the field. The players can feel the pressure of performance where you take away relegation and you might be seeing more points in the league, but I think it's only four teams in the premiership, maybe the positive points difference, you know, like it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You, I mean, weekend there was like 80 point game, 60 point game, a 50 point game. It's going in a direction, I think in the premiership, unless, the, you know, the, the relegation is reintroduced and you can start seeing more competitive fixtures, I think. So that's what, that's what I really like about France is going back somewhere where there's relegation, there's something on it every day, either the bottom, the middle or the top, there's something competing. So there's a top six, there's a middle trying to get into the top six and there's guys trying to make sure they don't get relegated. Well, there's jeopardy throughout the whole season, which 100%. is entertainment. And drama. And, and, and drama. Right. And drama. Love, I love a bit of drama. Yeah, of course. I like it. We grew up watching football, right? Um, well, you've a version of football, a Coventry view, I suppose. But, but, <laughs> we were good, but we were good back in the <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, you were all right. Mate, the you're right. Well, well, we've got Saudi money now in the Newcastle, mate, so we're, we're laughing. But uh, you, there was always promotion relegation. Three teams down, three teams up, you know? And the, the excitement all the time. And as English people, we grew up with that kind of feeling of pressure, performance and stuff. And I think I think that can only help people to, to get to another level of, of, of performance themselves with the need to perform. And uh, I think, you know, I really enjoy that aspect in France. Thankfully, at the moment, we're not in that relegation battle. But, um, you know, you can see the other teams there and the pressure and the drama of Perpignan you know, having to win. They had to win three in a row. They get themselves off the bottom. They're now clawing up, now breather, panicking. And it's it, it, adds, it adds to the spectacle, I think. 